Hi guys. Um, it just tamus and I know I got some bedhead going on. I haven't. I woke up earlier. It's 1.13. I've been up for a few hours, but I've been doing YouTube stuff. So yeah. Anyway. Um, I wanted to say that I started making another another um world of tanks and I was trying to take the first Banny Cam one I did and put it into my editor and I dragged it and dropped it and then it just disappeared like it wasn't even there and now I can't even find it it just vanished in the thin air I guess I don't know what happened to it I'm gonna be looking but if you don't see a second or third one of those this week I apologize and in turn I will be making subject you know vlogs and stuff and so I wanted to start with doing one today now, I was watching some videos earlier by this one guy who's like the rad bad or whatever I'll, I'll put it, the link to his channel in the subs oops, into the description uh, go check him out he so I've been watching some of his Walking Dead playthroughs and he's quite entertaining and he asked the question you know what would you do if during a so if the zombie apocalypse really happened like what would be your game plan and he mentioned that he was he read some of the comments and some people said that they would want to hold up in a Walmart and even though that would be a good idea if you had like a massive or a fairly big group to where you need good access to a lot of supplies Walmart would be a good place to do that and plus then they'd have the people to you know walk down make sure the place stays secure because if you have a small group you're not going to be able to keep that place secure I mean it's one it's not like two stories it's just a w big open Walmart in like in, for one level one story high and if you have a little bit of people you get a really small group it's gonna be hard to keep that secure and uh, I just think that unless you hacked in like the security system or something and you could actually that's a pretty good idea pretty good idea hacked into the security system and you know look and like find the uh, camera room because you know every store even a Walmart's got video cameras hidden um even in, in the water sprinklers I do think I think too but just do it that so you know if any zombies have gone in, or in this case, walkers. And just like keep your main camp like on the roof or something. Like I don't know how well this would work, but it's like managed to get a tarp up. Now you're on the roof, so it's not like any walkers, even if they see you or hear you, which they most likely will they won't necessarily be able to get to you but of course before you do that you you would have wanted to lock down the Walmart otherwise you know you're gonna have quite a few roaming around in the store which is not really what you want especially for a Walmart because it's, it's big it has a lot of ground to cover um and 
Yeah, and then just, you know, come back down, make sure, like, have rotations of people, make sure that stays secure and no one's gotten in. Use the video cameras to see if any walkers have gotten in. And to see if there's anyone outside that needs your help. Although you can probably see that easily from the roof. And, you know, so if, it, if a couple get into the store, it won't necessarily be a bad thing. Because if most of your people, if like everyone's up on top in the roof, you know, and there's only one or two down there, you, know, you can send like a couple people down there to take take out those two, the three, and you know, just have access to that supplies, to those supplies. Um, personally, what I would do, my game plan would be that you know how you want to, you know, have a secure area. What better secure area is that than an island? So I thought, hey, Caribbean, um, I live, I'm down here in Oregon and I'm in Salem, so I can just head down to the coast and, you know, my game plan was obviously, you know, gather up some of my friends, make sure they're all good and alive because they live fairly close to me. Um, you know, because honestly, in something like this, everyone knows that they gotta work together in order to survive, but not a whole lot of them do. Like, everyone's looking out for their own groups. And, you know, especially in that, in this situation, it's gonna be really kind of hard to trust people um, especially if you come across someone that you're, uh, iffy about, like Larry in the, the Walking Dead with Lee and Clementine and that group, um, and like that, and kind of like what they were thinking, get a boat, and do that, and I would personally go down the coast. You'll get some um, wind turbines. You can take little motors from like treadmills or something, and you'll make little uh, turbines and get solar panels, like salvage some solar panels from Albertsons in uh, in uh, not Albertsons, Fred Meyer. In Wilsonville, because they got a bunch up on the roof. Salvage a couple of those, because, you know, Caribbean, lots of sun. You can make electricity. Um, there's a couple simple ways, like with a marble, some plastic wrap, see-through, see-through plastic wrap, and like a bowl. It's, it may take a while, but you can, like, purify the water so there's not a whole lot of salt and stuff in there. Or, like, uh, juice from fruits and stuff, and... You know, things like that. Um, plus, you'd be secluded. You know, clear off the little island or whatever. Probably not Hawaii, even though that'd be a pretty good idea. You're kind of way out there. And, you know, those volcanic I volcanic mountains there. Because, you know, the plate... Or the Hawaii Islands are actually made by a uh, hotspot. And I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> that'd take way too long to explain. But... You know, it's they're volcanic and they're active, so that wouldn't necessarily be the best island to be at. But like the Caribbean, or not not really Caribbean, but like Cuba or something, somewhere over there. You know, you're close to actual continent. If you need to go and get some supplies, which you probably wouldn't need to, because you'd have wind, you'd have sun for energy. You'd have plenty of water. Then you could get something to help, like a little machine to help purify that, so you can drink it. And because you don't want to drink pure salt water, it actually uh, dries out your system faster. So it actually sucks out the moisture because all the salt. And so it's actually better not to drink salt water from the o straight from the ocean than to do it. You know, it makes you. Makes you 
die faster. And just like, plus you'd have all those plants. You would probably want to get like a book or something saying what's poisonous and what's not. And you know, just like clear off the island of any thing. Maybe get some science equipment. See if there's any antibodies that are trying to fight off this plague that's going on. If there's anything in your body that's, of course, trying to fight it off, if you could, like, like get, get a couple scientists in your group to collaborate. <laughs> Just, like, do that. <laughs> so you'd have some, like, background knowledge. And, like, maybe you could create some sort of vaccinate vaccination or something that could help boost that so your body would actually be able to fight it off and get that to not happen and it might be pretty down deep to get into that but I would still be curious what caused all of this and I know somewhere there's people that are thinking the same question like in the show Walking Dead, I actually have not seen it because personally, too gory for me. I think the story well is done is well done. You know, it lets you think out. You know what you really need, like your priorities. Um, I want to maybe start watching it, but I'm gonna have to limit myself to the daytime because my dreams, my brain is like. HD and Blu-ray. It is very vivid. I was watching Andromeda one night where they got like the little mechanical eating slug thing and I had a dream in very vivid and apparently in very good quality me with green seaweed like tentacle seaweed arms and legs and just being kind of like a zombie going uh, in a fish tank. And, like, this weird freaking scientist dude, because, like, there was this infective moss. Like, if you're even so much within seeing distance, like, you get affected by this thing and mutate to seaweed arm and leg fish tank person. And, ew. Dang. Still giving me goosebumps, but it was. No. No. <laughs> I didn't... the mind. The mind. All I have to say, but anyway. But yeah, what what would have caused that? Some person trying to get back, trying to make some sort of, um, what's it called? Not plague. Well, I guess you consider it plague. Biological warfare. Or something like that. Yeah, biological warfare. And just kind of like mutate it or something. Do, if any people that are in science do not attempt this. If I find out after zombie apocalypse has started that that is you, I will murder you. And let you turn into a zombie if you aren't already. If anything, that would show you. Watch all these shows and crap and you'll see just how much screwed the whole world would be. Although, animals might have comfort with it though. Plants too, because then we wouldn't be like killing them all the time and destroying forests and doing that. Maybe that's what the earth wants. That ver That's the version of the end of the world. Anyway, stuff to think about. And I actually like this one game that this guy, the rad something, again, link down in the description to his channel. Go subscribe to him. Um, that particular game, it's not like the, um, what you call it? The one with Lee and Clementine and, uh, well, Herschel, you only see for like 10 minutes. 
and then you leave. That is or not, I probably does. But that one, not that one, because that one, no matter what your choice is, like some with me with some of the major stuff, it pretty much ends up the same way. It's just difference in dialogue and kind of makes a tiny bit of difference in the future gameplay. But for as far as the main storyline, it doesn't really change much. This one that he's playing, The Walking Dead, Survival Instincts, I think I actually want to play that at one point. Because you can tell the members of your group, you know, what to do. Hey, you go look for ammo. You go look for food and supplies. You go look for gas- or, uh, I'll go look for gasoline and meet back up here in an hour at night or whatever. Daybreak. And you can choose whether to get them blunt weapons, guns, you can give them no weapon at all, which is not- which is frowned upon, actually, but, you know. Gives them a bit more incentive to be more sneaky, but yeah. And you can use different paths to take, whether to take streets, highways, or back roads. Um, highways, the risk to date, low risk of finding supplies, high risk of the car breaking down, and you lose less gas. You use less gas. Streets, is about medium, medium, halfway. And then back road to use a lot of gas, but better at finding supplies and better chance of your car not breaking down. And so it kind of varies, and you can choose every time. And you know you can use you can choose to like search a car or search a house, but oh wait, hoard is quickly uh, coming. Do you want to take this alternate route and just keep keep driving and that sort of stuff? It really makes you think. Like with any sort of apocalypse. Makes you think about your ness your um priorities and stuff, so personally that would be my plan, go to the Caribbean, hanging out, you know. The plants are always growing, so as long as you don't horf down everything in one sitting, you know, you should have pretty good on food. Um, should be animals in the Caribbean, or uh, in Cuba, or you can go to Cuba and stay close to the mainland so you can go get supplies if you need any, you know, wind, solar, energy, secluded, that's pretty much what I would do. Once you really think it through, to me that would seem like the best course of action, maybe get some couple scientists if you can, or if not, just kind of look over, study the biology of one of the zombies or something, use him as a specimen, make sure he's good and dead first. <laughs> and, you know, stuff like that. But that would be pretty much what I'd do. So, if you have a different course of action, if you have any good points that I did not mention, or any, like, hey, um... This point you may be a turning for deciding what to do. Post in the comments below. If you like this video, please like. Um, go check out the other guy I was talking about. Link in the description. Um, I'm going to have some of my gameplays posted down there as well. Go check those out. If you like them, please like them rate and subscribe, favorite, all that good stuff. And yeah, just comment on what you would do and give some good pointers. Or, if, yeah. Anyway, this is Tamus. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog. And I hope it was very informational. And I shall see you guys next time. So, peace out. Bye.